hi guys welcome back to my channel you're going to be seeing a lot of my hands today not my face but hello <laughs> so i have been binge watching a lot of collection videos and i realized i've actually never done a full collection video on my channel so depending on how well this video goes i might do a full collection video of my lipsticks blushes highlighters because i do have a lot um a few disclaimers because it, it just needs to be said i am a beauty influencer i content create i work with brands um i am on some brands pr list and so i get um quite a number of makeup i've also had the privilege of being part of two major brand pr lists for a year so um they've sent me quite a lot of makeup i do declutter my makeup quite often i have loads of family and loads of friends i gift it to actually i have loads of boxes waiting for after the coronavirus to just pass on family and friends so i don't envisage that i will be decluttering anything however you never know <laughs> i might uncover a palette i haven't seen in a long time and i feel needs to go to a new home but um these are the products that i want to keep um some of them i haven't used at all some of them are new um so yeah i understand that it's a big collection eyeshadow palettes and lipsticks are my biggest weakness and i spend quite a lot of my money on eyeshadow palettes and lipsticks so i'm not gonna delve into what's pr what's bought with me i might say it in in the video that i purchased this blah 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 but I'm not going to do it for all the products, okay? Definitely grab something to eat, grab a coffee. I'll put a timestamp at the beginning um, if you're not interested in the intro and you just want to get into the collection. Yeah, let's just jump in. Enough with the uh, disclaimers. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe and thumbs up if you do. Right, so you guys can see this is a mess on top. It's never a mess. I always tidy my makeup, but I've had to bring products from this drawer in here. The, some of the products that are here are ones I either are new, I haven't tried them out yet, and I want to in videos, in Instagram posts, or I need to content create for the brand. Some of the products um, are sitting on my other Alex drawer that I will show you guys when we spin around. Uh, they're products that I am currently using, either reviewing, testing or whatnot. But I just popped them all here so that I can start off with this drawer before we move to my Alex unit. Right, so this one, I understand it's not a palette. And this is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. It's not a palette, but it's got loads of gorgeous, um, like, uh, loose pigments in them. I haven't tried this out, and the reason why I haven't tried it is because I reacted to a lot of Fenty Beauty's products back, I want to say, a year or two years ago. And it made me declutter all of my Fenty Beauty palettes and stuff like that. This was gifted to me and so I really do want to try it but I'm a bit hesitant that I might react to it. But this sits in my top drawer for testing. The next palette is the Ofra palette. You guys are going to see I like to keep my palettes in their sleeves, in their boxes. Um, especially for what I do, it's easier for me to see ingredients, to see product names especially shade names have a bit more detail um about the, the company itself and plus it looks really nice in my collection so um i will take them out when i show you guys but just bear in mind that i keep a lot of my products in the packaging so this is the ofra pro palette and i recently got this from ofra love the sleeve love the white packaging that ofra does so really sturdy cardboard packaging that they normally do and take this off i have used this palette and you've got blushes you've got highlighters you've got um eyeshadows these this is a really pretty neutral eyeshadow palette more like a face palette um it's so so pretty and it's so pigmented especially if i swatch this shimmer shade 
see how pretty that is if I just swatch one of the eyeshadows it's just a super pretty palette I also like the fact that you can um, depart these colors and put them in a Z palette or a bigger palette if you're a makeup artist but Ofra is known for really, really good pigmented highlighters and eyeshadows so I'm really really excited to use this in a video this is sitting and waiting to be used or reviewed in a future video. so next is the Norvina 3 palette I actually have all three palettes two of which were gifted one I purchased myself and this one is by far my favorite and that's because I really like my greens I like orange colors I like the yellows it's just such a really really pretty palette really really pigmented um, and it's just stunning I've seen a lot of the eyeshadow collection videos and a lot of people have one or the other of these palettes but I have used um, volume 1 and volume 3 I'm yet to use volume 2 but so far I'm absolutely loving um, the pigmentation um, the color um, selection is really really nice so that's a shimmer shade and that's a matte shade it's just really really deep I, it's just stunning it's one of those palettes that is a staple in your collection so the pro palette one has more of the purple shades which you're gonna see in the bit the pro palette 2 has more of the blue colors which you're also gonna see in a bit and this one has more of, like the summer um, orange and green and really really nice burgundy shades so I gravitate to all three I feel like my style kind of leans more into color with a touch of neutral here and there so these palettes are right up my alley the next palette is the Jaclyn Hill um, volume 2 palette I have two looks up on my YouTube channel using this palette which I will link in the description box below but I absolutely love this palette this collaboration with Morphe um, as I said in the video the colors are just perfect if you were to cover the bottom part up you can actually see it as a really really nice neutral palette and then if you're really into color that is a really beautiful like a summer colorful purple pink orange type of palette so I really like the um, tones I like the range of colors and again it's Morphe it's really really affordable so it's a winner in my book and I'm super super glad that I have this in my collection I absolutely love it pigmentation is on point I've never had any problems with any of the Morphe palettes so I have nothing but good things to say plus Morphe has been on a roll with their sale and everything so you're going to be seeing quite a lot of Morphe palettes in my collection because I've just been binge buying <laughs> but um, this one is definitely a, a love I absolutely love this palette the next palette is from Ofra Cosmetics and this is their glitch palette I am yet to use this love the fact that it comes with a mirror really beautiful holographic packaging and it is a shimmer palette so if i fold that so that you can see it's a shimmer palette and the colors are absolutely stunning again with ofra palettes you can pop them out and put them in a z palette if you like and um, they're easy to just take out like that and you can just pop them in a bigger palette um the colors are super pigmented as always with ofra palettes gonna swatch these for you guys to see just absolutely stunning so so pretty so I'm yet to use this in a look but I just love the shade collection it's a, it's a shimmer palette which means you are going to use it with either one or two other palettes just to give you the full range of eye looks that you'd need but as a shimmer palette I think it's super pretty like these two colors um, on your lid and this in your inner corner or this in your inner corner would work beautifully well and then you blend some matte blues and greens into your crease it would just make such a beautiful look but I love the packaging as well it's really really sturdy I love the way they put their plastic over the shades um, it's not like those films that just get really really annoying these are like proper plastics that sit quite nicely with the palette and still on the Ofra holographic type of palette 
this one's new this one literally depending on when this video goes out is um due to go live on the 20th of april but this one is the glitch 2000 palette and this is the one that they just came out with um and this one has more of your neutral colors mixed in the in the range of blue and green if you were to cover up these two colors it's more of like a cool tone type of neutral color i absolutely love the shade it's so so pretty and even the green and the blue they're just stunning colors if you just see them on my finger they're absolutely beautiful beautiful shimmer shades again this palette is a full shimmer palette so you would need one or two other palettes to create some really really awesome looks same with the glitch palette you can pop the shadows out and put them in your z palette but i just i just love the formula of ofra palettes and i can't wait to really showcase them in a look next is the colored rain smoke show palette and i have used this palette once in a look it comes with your plastic film and it comes in a sleeve as well i've taken it out of the sleeve and you get these six gorgeous little shades now i love the depth of these four neutral colors and this one adds a little bit of smoke in your outer corner if you like or as a lid color it does have a little bit of shimmer to it i don't know if you guys can see but it's like it's got shimmer particles in it which is super pretty and then you've got this gorgeous army green um shade called showtime love it like if you were to cover this it's such a beautiful um easy go-to neutral color palette and then these two kind of add more drama for the nighttime look or you could smoke this on your lower lash line for a more dramatic look i am going to swatch the black for you so you can see hopefully you can see the shimmer particles in it but it's so fine and pretty the shimmer particles are like gold and literally that was one swatch it's such a creamy palette and the green is just it's just stunning colored rain palettes are one of my favorite formulas they get it right every time especially with the depth and the packaging so i'm really really excited to showcase this um i've used it a couple of times as well i've swatched it a couple of times and i absolutely love it speaking of colored rain um they sent me the book of shades um kind of like a, a collector book for you to put your single shadows in i have made a dent <laughs> i've started adding in my single shadows because i realized that i have quite a lot of them and this is my really really proud um first layer and i've got my pinks corals burgundy color neutrals i'm not really a pink lover but i felt like if i had a full-on um self put together pink palette i would use it more often but i really really like the idea of this and um, you can put all your single shadows you can go ahead and depot some of your shadows that are not loved in palettes and pop them in this and this is my growing neutral gold um like that color is so unique and that color is also so unique so i'm slowly growing this um but yeah i really really love the idea of it i've found myself dipping into this book more often and it sits quite beautifully on my vanity and just reminds me that i've got some really really cool single shadows to go through and the shadows that i have in there at the moment are mostly makeup obsession i've got a few makeup geek i've got um mac in there as well so it's a mixture of different um palettes that I've depotted some of them were single shadows in the first place so yeah I love the idea it's so good so so good especially if you're a makeup artist or makeup enthusiast like me and you've got loads of single shadows lying around definitely pop them in here and you'll find yourself gravitating towards this and using it even more and also isn't she just pretty so so pretty and another morphe palette is the morphe x jeffree star palette now i held off picking up this palette for a really really long time and i think a week ago or two weeks ago morphe was doing this 
um sale and this palette came to about 20 pounds so i was like okay that's it that's my cue to buy this palette and obviously in jeffree star jeffree star style you've got your gorgeous little mirror that most of the morphe palettes do not have and you've got it in the gorgeous pink color and the shades are absolutely stunning you've got your pink shade you've got your neutrals you've got this corner here which is like your um greens and your gold like literally these six shades are just absolutely stunning and then you've got these six as well i kind of see them as boxes of six so you've got six here you've got six here for a gorgeous look you've got six up here six up here as well and then you've got this kind of like middle roll for transition for added depth absolutely just love it i haven't used this palette yet i haven't even swatched it but i've watched tons of videos with this palette and i'm super excited to use it but i'm definitely happy that i finally have it in my collection and i can stop drooling on um the videos that i've seen on youtube carrying on with the morphe collaboration theme i had to pick up the Jaclyn Hill volume 1 palette now I actually had the original in my collection and when I started watching loads of the eyeshadow collection videos I was like hang on I haven't seen that palette in ages and I went on a hunt to try and find it in my collection and for the life of me I cannot find that palette and I'm super gutted so in a rage of annoyance I purchased another one but unfortunately it's not the OG but I've, wa I've watched loads of people on YouTube that say there's no difference except for the size obviously there's no difference in formula so I'm hoping that's the case my original volume one was well loved it's one of the few palettes that I really spent my time creating looks really digging into but nonetheless it's such a beautiful palette i mean the bottom roll is just me all day long you've got the neutral roll and you've got like your rose gold pinky tones in the corner and the gold is just need i say more like this to me is one of the must-haves like if you're not gonna buy any other palette in the world and you just want your um neutral palettes but with a pop of drama when you're going out this is definitely the palette for you literally i wanted to show you guys the beauty that is the box for this p louise um collection and this is their valentine's collection i think i remember this and this is the love tapes uh, palette and highlighter they recently did a sale um not the sale this crashed their website but a sale prior to that and this palette was on on that sale i think it was 20 odd pounds something like that and i just thought yeah it's my time right i need to buy it i've always wanted to try the circuit secret scene seen as palette but till today i'm still unable to get that it's still out of stock so i'm not able to purchase it but this one is definitely a beauty and the packaging alone is just stunning this is the reason why i like to keep packaging but this is the Love Affair collection. You've got the highlighters and then you've got the palette in the middle. So I'm just going to show you guys before. Ugh, it's just so pretty in the box. Like. And here she is out of the box. And when you open her, excuse the nails, never lets me do anything with ease. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> and you open her, you've got a mirror. Not going to blind you guys. And then film and you've got the beauty that is the palette now a lot of you are gonna say you don't like pinks you're right i do not like pinks but this palette this palette is just stunning forget that i don't like pinks the palette likes me <laughs> so you've got reds you've got a bit of pink you've got darker pinks that i can wear colors like this i probably won't gravitate towards but the red the shimmer color, the little darker red here, and the darker colors at the bottom I'll definitely use. I'll definitely use the highlighters because they're absolutely stunning. This one is called Happily Ever After and this one is called Ocean Upon Time. But the reason why I really, really love the packaging and the way it looks is because it is made for vanity. Like literally, it's just made 
for your table it's made for you to just use the mirror really enjoy the whole makeup application process declutter your mind and just have a moment with your products so that's the reason why i really really love the collection and i love to keep things in boxes um so yeah this is the only p louise palette that i have and i cherish it with everything in me i should also probably say that it's a mixture of high-end indie and, and uh, more affordable product like i'm not splitting it i might split the video depending on how long it is because i do have such a huge collection but let's go see where we get so i'm going to start from the corner here and i've got shit loads of morphe palettes like the mini ones i've got four Right, so the first palette is the ooh, is the 9G palette and this one is relatively new. I haven't used this yet and this one has the greens and neutral colour and it's got this like gorgeous purple, dark purple type of tones. Really sorry if my ring light is washing things out. This is the only way I can actually get some light in this part of my beauty room but i absolutely love the color story of this again i like to look at palettes in sections and if you were to look at the bottom row it's such a pretty lid color i could use this easily as a transition shade and i could use this to kind of like still blend this out or even darken it a little bit or i can use this an all lid color and pop this in my inner corner so it's just pretty you've got loads of shimmers in the middle all three are and you've got shimmers here and this kind of like a cream um shade is a more neutral matte cream shade so it's a versatile palette you can get loads of looks from it um but i feel like a darker brown or darker matte purple would have been ideal as opposed to these two shimmer mattes i'm sorry these two shimmer purple colors i feel like this could have been easily a, a matte dark purple color to kind of give a bit more definition for this one um i feel like you're still gonna have to need to reach into another palette to get a look using the shimmer the shimmer shades i am one of those people that likes to create several looks with the same palette i'm not really one to dip and I'm not really want to dip in and out of different palettes so I would have preferred if this was at least a matte shade. This one is the 9D palette. This is called the Painted um, Desert palette and I've used this quite a lot. You've got really really nice um, dark girl friendly neutral colours. You've got that beautiful dark brown to kind of smoke out this um, colours it's like a quad if you look at these four colors it's like a beautiful quad you can use this um all over lid shade it's such a pretty shimmer including this one and this one can be used to blend out any of the colors here which i absolutely love so i have had a lot of use out of this palette i've created a lot of looks on my instagram using this palette but it's just one of those easy travel friendly palettes also love the fact that the mini ones come with a mirror which makes it easy to travel with and to use but again i'm one of the suckers that likes to keep the film likes to keep the name i think morphe just needs to print out the names on the palettes it just makes it easier for people like myself that like to reference colors that are being used but yeah i think it's a definite uh, versatile travel friendly palette And this one is the 90 palette and I believe I've used this one too yes this is the neutral territory palette now I am a really really um, I really really love cool tone neutral colors and just cool tone generally so this palette definitely speaks to me more than the 9d palette um, love the black it's such a beautiful subtle black very very easy to blend I love the kind of like taupey um, brown color I love these three colors as well they're really really nice all over lid shades and if you just pop a really fierce wing liner on top of it and you're good to go you've got these gorgeous shimmer shades which I will swatch for you guys because I just love cool tone shimmer shades they're so buttery so pretty 
absolutely buttery and pretty again this is such an easy travel friendly palette you can create multitudes of looks with this and I think Morphe needs to create more of these mini palettes. They're so, so easy to use. They're affordable. I picked these palettes up um, on their sale, I think, when they were £6. So it's definitely, definitely affordable and you get loads of colours to play with and you've got it in a practical size, which Morphe doesn't. And the last one is the Nine Eyes So Iconic palette. And again, this is a really, really beautiful, cool tone smoky palette i love the pop of blue in there so easy to use on your bottom lash line to kind of like give you that extra um touch of color i love the middle roll easy to use this as your lid color outer corner um crease color it's just so pretty really love the first roll as well you've got gray you've got your shimmer you've got your black in there it's just pretty if i swatch this one and this one you just see how pretty the shimmer shades are they're just really really pretty colors and i think again just like the other three there's it's just such an easy versatile palette easy to travel with and very very easy to use we know Morphe palettes are very um, pigmented and very blendable, so there's no problem in terms of the quality. So it just really speaks to you. If the color speaks to you, then definitely pick it up. But for me, absolutely love it. One thing I did notice with this palette, which I haven't actually, is that the film doesn't have the names on it. And Morphe printed the names on the palette, which is really, really good. So I did make a comment before that Morphe needs to print them on the palette, but I actually never realized that this one has the names printed on it. So I hope more of the um, nine series will have the names printed on the palette because it makes it easy to kind of like toss this guy away. The next palette is an indie brand and this brand reached out to me on Instagram and this one is the Elixir Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. I don't believe it has a name it's just their eyeshadow palette and i use this in a couple of looks especially on instagram so definitely follow me on instagram if you're not but i actually really really did enjoy this palette you've got your gorgeous neutral colors you've got your jewel tone berry and gold colors you've got your really really nice light pink color i'm going to swatch it just to show you guys how beautifully pigmented this palette is like i i really did enjoy creating looks with it oh gosh just doing that alone just brings back really really good memories oh the color saturation is absolutely stunning so for me this is the reason why i love supporting indie brands they come out with such beautifully pigmented palettes color stories are always on point i used this um last year during summer during autumn as well because these colors speak a lot of like autumn vibes um so definitely check them out if you're really interested in indie brands especially uk owned indie brands this one was a winner in my book still a winner really really pigmented shades are absolutely stunning um let me swatch the matte shades that you can see so if i swatch that one and that one just to give you guys a flavor of how pretty even the matte shades are just so pretty so yeah i love this this one is a curated palette so i was sent loads of gorgeous um gorgeous i will send loads of gorgeous single shadows from e unique beauty e unique beauty is a uk indie brand and they sent me this kind of like a z palette to pop them into brace yourself it's well loved <laughs> so it's gonna look messy but i promise you the pigmentation in these colors is no joke um these colors are absolutely stunning i have worn them to spill to death like i'll swatch this blue because this one i remember the color is called the smurfette and it is the most insane blue color i have ever seen and this is kind of like what excites me with um indie indie brands because that purple 
and then this color i believe is called phoenix if i remember clearly look at that so stunning so yeah um if you guys are interested in any e unique beauty products you can use my discount code media j to get 10% off but I absolutely love their products you can see it's well loved I will never throw it away it's such a pretty palette and I need to bring it out more often actually because the colors are just insane I don't know how they're able to get such pigmentation on their shades but whatever it is that they're doing they need to keep doing it because this palette is a forever in my collection so I've got two more palettes from colored rain the first one is the colored rain X power this is off the TV series and they made a collab collaboration palette with power and they come out with a full collection eyeshadow palette lip products cheek palette beautiful I've done a look using this palette I want to say it's on my Instagram but I don't know why I never did one for YouTube. I think because I picked up the palette quite late. But um, it is still available for you to purchase if you're interested. But it's just one of those palettes that I just had to have. Because of how beautiful the colours look. When swatched. I've seen loads of swatches. That colour actually reminds me of the purple colour from e Unique, Which is quite weird but yeah it does remind me of that but i love the shift of legacy it's so pretty it kind of has it kind of has that like dual chrome type of shift to it and alibi alibi is such a pretty dark shade so yeah if you're yet to pick up this collection definitely pick it up before it gets discontinued because it's just one of those beautiful purple palettes that you just need in your collection I feel like most of the things you're going to hear um, about these palettes are really, really good things because I tend to not keep palettes I'm disappointed in or don't really enjoy. I don't keep them in my collection. I do declutter quite often. So hopefully um, you're going to see like the palettes that I really enjoy and I love. And this one has been really, really loved. And this is the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. And as you can see, she has been dipped into a lot. Um, so these shades, I've only just swatched. I haven't really used them, but no, actually, I have used this one, Royal Prerogative. So I've used this to probably blend into my crease, but all the other colors have definitely been loved and used. Now, this is one of those OG staple palettes that you kind of just need in your collection just because the colors are so rich. There's just something about Colored Rain palettes, Colored Rain eyeshadows. They just get that formula right. Like it's just deep enough and easy to blend. And the colors are rich and really, really exciting to use. And the shimmer shades are just everything. So um, if you haven't picked this up, definitely do. I love this palette and I was super excited to pick it up when it came out. This is probably the only palette I have from OPV, which I don't know why. I've seen two of their other palettes that I'm really interested in, but for some reason, this is the only palette that I have in my collection. And I remember my sister gifted this to me after I begged and begged for it. And I love this palette. Like I've used it quite a lot. As you can see, it's been really loved. It's been really dipped into. And it just showcases me in a palette. Like these are colors that I enjoy. I love the packaging. I love the feel. This is like one of the most unique colored packaging that I have. Like this tone of green, blue is so, so pretty. And then the colors inside, you've got like this rose gold type of color called um, I, I, Ayao. I don't know. <laughs> you've got this color in there you've got this gorgeous green shade you've got this dark color you've got the blue it's just literally me in a palette and this was definitely used a lot i definitely need to bring this one back up and use it more often but yeah it's it's a pretty color i'm gonna swatch this gold for you guys and the rose gold because i mentioned it just so that you can see how really pigmented the palette is 
just so pretty and opv is an indie brand and i believe they are based in the uk um so definitely check them out they've got some really really fun palettes and they do ring lights they do hair they do loose pigments as well i know they've got a full collection of goodies going on so yeah definitely check it out i'm so happy i have this in my collection the next three palettes are also from a uk owned uh brand i believe they're uk or european brand not sure but beauty of color i have used this palette on my youtube channel i've reviewed this palette definitely definitely look through my channel if i can find the video easily i will put it in the description box below but this one is called the Melanin Treasure Palette and I especially love the graphics. I love it when indie brands take their time to really get it right with the graphics and the packaging and it just speaks all things melanin. And as you can see, this palette has been well used and loved. It's actually falling apart even, you could say. So it's got a good range of darker neutral colors in my opinion you've got the blue and the purple to kind of give you more depth or smoke your lower lash line and then you've got your roll of shimmers right underneath which i absolutely love the palette itself is really really pretty i did give an in-depth review on my channel so i will find the video and link in the description box below so definitely check that out and then more from them i've got the queening palette which looks like this and this palette um the release came with a face palette that has highlighters in it and then you've got the eyeshadow palette so this is the eyeshadow and i've used this on instagram as well so if you're not following me that goes to show you need to <laughs> so i really love the color story of it you've got the light pink you've got like corals you've got orange You've got your dark purple, you've got your dark brown, and it's just an all-round dark girl-friendly palette. This is the one color that I thought I wouldn't love, but then I did a look using this color as well, and I absolutely enjoyed it. So definitely don't judge a book by its cover. I'm going to swatch it for you guys so you can see what I mean. Like, if you pack this color on your lid... It just gives you kind of like a very beautiful, soft, expensive, um, neutral color on your lid. And then you smoke it out with the dark brown with Generous and a bit of Majestic and pop a little bit of Brave or Bold in your inner corner and you are good to go. Also love the fact that it comes with a mirror and obviously the packaging is just everything. So pretty. And the last one for Beauty of Colour is the Girl Power Palette. Um, but I also do have a video on my YouTube channel using this palette. So again, I will link it in the description box below. But it's just it's pretty celebrating women of all colours, um, all hair types. <laughs> Someone once said to me in the comments. But again, it's just such a pretty, really, really well put together palette. You've got the um, blue, reds, green and a purple and i love the names that they chose they're really really powerful women that are making a difference have made a difference uh, so names like winnie lupita and it just mimics the name of the palette quite nicely the green god you guys are gonna be fed up with me when i just keep talking about green i, I just just something oh my god oh my gosh i need to do a look with that palette like I wasn't ready for that green she is speaking to me do you guys see that yeah enough said if you haven't bought it buy it before it goes out of stock because yeah it's pretty and it's beauty of color again uk owned indie brand so definitely don't sleep on indie guys they are doing the most when it comes to pigmentation and packaging and all that good stuff the next palette is the Modern Dreamer palette from NYX and I have used this, I want to say, on Instagram. A lot of my palettes are just Instagram, really. I do do a few um, YouTube reviews and tutorials of palettes, but you're going to find that a lot of them have looks already on Instagram, so definitely check it out. But Modern Dreamer palette is such a beautifully put together palette by NYX. You've got your gold, you've got the pinks, you've got green. Um, 
here you've got the um like maroon color but it's just it's so pretty i do have a swatch of this up on my second instagram page so if you're interested in swatches of this definitely check it out um i do love this palette i think it's really really pigmented i think it's value for money i think if you are new to makeup this is a definite go-to palette because you've got your balance of neutral and colorful colors including the kind of like a darker fall type of smoky colors so it's a good balance it's also good if you're a makeup artist and you're looking for like that one palette um to build other palettes on and it's really really good for a collection and i also love the packaging i love the fact that you can see into the palette to see the colors and it's just nice and lightweight so the next set of palettes are my Jeffree Star palettes. Now, um, regardless of what you think about Jeffree Star personally, his palettes are pigmented. Like his palettes, his ideas, creation are not only pigmented, but the packaging are just gorgeous and it's just a collector's dream. I base my um, reason for purchasing a product on the quality of the product and not too much on the individual's personality because if you start dissecting other brands i'm sure there are more um racist people out there or horrible people out there that we just don't know about because they're good at keeping it a secret um so i base my beauty channel on the quality of the product and just keep it simple it's about makeup let's just keep it to makeup so the first product is the shane dawson collection collaboration and this is the mini controversy palette i have done a look on my instagram using this palette and i did enjoy this palette i've also swatched it and played with it a lot um i know a lot of people weren't too keen on the color story and i can completely understand why but um i think the color story was meant to be um kind of interesting and intriguing and kind of leave creation up to you really to think about um to think outside the box and what you can do i can already see so many looks just using this palette alone like using that in your outer corner and just kind of fading it up using that in your inner corner and using that on your lid or using that on your lid using that in the inner corner and something with the blue including the purple there are just so many looks you can do with this palette including these three shades or these four shades such a beautiful moment so um, I think you're going to really need to think outside the box with it. And I know it isn't everyone's cup of tea, but you must appreciate the palette itself. It comes with a mirror and the colors are just super stunning. I will swatch two for you guys, but I'm sure you're sick to death of seeing swatches of this palette. Now that blue is really interesting. It looks like Smurfette. Um, just that Smurfette is a little bit more pigmented, but yeah it is a pretty palette and you know if you haven't picked it up it isn't a palette i'll say you must have it in your collection but it is a nice to have i've heard that jeffrey's coming out with the version with the put it back shade <laughs> the green shade that got taken out so that might be your chance to pick it up if you are interested in this collaboration but i think it is still available on beautylish don't quote me but yeah, I, I'm happy to have it in my collection. And as you can see, it's been well-loved and used frequently. So, The first is the OG Beauty Killer palette. And I remember when I wanted to purchase this palette and I was broke as hell. Um, I saved up every bit of coin to get this palette. And this was even before Beauty Bay or Beauty Lish was selling it. I had to buy it from Jeffrey's website and pay customs and all that. But... I was really, really intrigued. I really wanted to just play with the palette. I actually did a giveaway of another palette because I bought two of it just to give it to someone. And yeah, as you can see, I used this palette quite a lot, especially that black shade. I love black colors that have like specks of shimmer and glitter in it. And the blue, expensive, it's super pretty. The pink does stain my lid, so I don't use it as often. But Courtney was definitely well used, including um, China White and Rich Bitch. But I definitely need to bring this out more often. I know I did love it when I purchased it and used it. Love the mirror, love the packaging, and yeah, 
It's just a staple in my collection. I absolutely. And of course, the second palette he released is the Androgyny palette. And again, love the packaging. Love the leather texture of this one as opposed to the slick pink, which is out of frame pink texture of the beauty killer palette i love the colors they're very much me you've got the green and the blue you've got your darker brown with the gold and the bronze color you've got the kind of like a taupey brown shade you've got fetish which is a gorgeous dark color i use that color quite a lot in looks especially with charmed so pretty love the mirror love the packaging again this is a palette I definitely need to use more often and do looks with. Um, you can still purchase this on Jeffree Star website, on Beautylish, on Beauty Bay. But yeah, Androgyny palette is one of those gorgeous little palettes that is just easy to travel with. And if you split each roll, it just has a story. And I just, yeah, I just love it. We might finally be getting towards a palette I didn't really enjoy, but I definitely want to give it a try again. And this is the Thirsty palette. Love the packaging. Love the 3D effect of like water. Love the color. But for some reason, I just couldn't get the payoff I was looking for with this palette. You've got the yellow, you've got the blues, you've got coral color, you've got the shimmer shades. But I think because it just didn't have the depth and richness that I need as a woman of color, I just didn't gravitate or give this palette a chance. I have made a promise to myself to give this palette another go, see how much I like it. But I think I used Quench and I used uh, Submerge in a look and it just didn't come out right. Like it looked really, really off. So I was put off from using this palette. There's quite a lot of the shades that are not even touched. Like these two are not even touched at all. So I definitely need to give this palette um, more opportunity to kind of like wow me. But I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. But I need to try it more. I just haven't given it the light of day. <laughs> so um, I'll probably be coming back to you guys with this one. Just so that I make a promise to myself to actually use it. I will move it up to the drawer of the I need to use them. I need to try them quite soon. The next one is... Which one came out next? The Blue Blood? Was it Blue Blood or the Jawbreaker? I'm not sure, it doesn't matter. Um, next one is the Blue, Blue Blood palette. I love this palette. I did swatches. I did product um, pictures. I did the price of silver. I did looks. I did everything with this palette. This palette was bay when I first purchased it. And oh god, the packaging. So pretty. And the colours are just me. You've got blues, greens, shimmer neutral colors they're all so pretty on the skin or blend nicely or look fierce and so pretty like look at um flourishing such a beautiful blue green shade you've got ocean ice which is such a beautiful shimmer blue color you've got entitled which i used quite a lot you've got blue blood itself which is quite stunning you've got wealth oh, it's just beautiful beautiful palette um this is one i fully 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 recommend if you are lacking a blue or a green palette in your collection definitely check this one out this is the Jawbreaker palette and I've done swatches and I've done a look using this palette as well. But again, this is just like the Thirsty palette. I just haven't given it its moment to shine. Um, I haven't played with it enough and I know that and I know I need to. But um, yeah, that's what it looks like. Beautiful palette. I love the colour combination. It's like sporadic colour. You haven't got your blocks of fours or rolls of... Um, full color for you to do a story or a look with you kind of like have to make it up as you go which i appreciate because sometimes you don't want to be confined to the blocks of four suggestive colors to use but the colors are really really pigmented um this color cotton candy does stain my lid quite a lot i find a lot of the pink shades and purples they stain me quite a bit so i kind of stray away from them i love delicious that is a beautiful blue color i love and what it's a beautiful like a rosy red 
type of shade and orange juice is such a pretty color as well so this is another palette i definitely have to bring out and use more but i'm so happy i have it because it's a beauty it has a mirror nice sturdy packaging and it's just so pretty and of course the conspiracy palette now you guys are gonna just laugh at me like i think i used this palette once i did full arm swatch with te um templates and everything posted it on my social media and i think i did one eye look one eye look using this palette and literally just put it away i don't know why i understand what people feel about the color story not being joined up it you know can look a bit messy when you first look at it but just like i like to dissect um colors if you look at the first roll that is your pretty neutral bridal theme type of color you've got just theory which is a beautiful shimmer neutral shade you can pop on the lid and then if you come to the second roll and the third roll and you start combining colors you've got conspiracy which can be combined with illuminate illuminate Lumi, Luminati, <laughs> and my ride is here like these three colors with a bit of not not a fact in the crease it's a beautiful moment you've got um what is the tea which is a beautiful like a teal color which can be combined with this one and with conspiracy like these two rolls i feel work really really well together and you've got the added benefit of the top roll to kind of like blend your crease and make sure the colors are not harsh so i think you just need to step out of your comfort zone and look outside the box to be able to use this palette but i think it's a really really nice design really well put together and i'm absolutely stoked that i have it in my collection and the last Jeffree Star palette I've got is the Bloodlust palette. And I recently only just got this. Again, swatches have been done. Um, have I done swatches? No, I didn't do swatches with this. I took pictures of it. Oh, ugh. that packaging really creeps me out. But, oh, can you just... So pretty. So, so pretty love the jewelry kind of effect of the box and barely touched like literally barely touched the only shade i have used is um bleeding heart and i used it as an all over lid color and blended into my crease so i did like a one color look using bleeding heart just because a lot of people complain that that red wasn't as pigmented i really wanted to see if it was or wasn't but every other color hasn't even been swatched she hasn't even been touched <laughs> so we know where she needs to go she needs to go into the top drawer for me to look at because it is shambles that i haven't even played with her next palette is the violet Voss pro eyeshadow palette now this is the holy grail palette and this alongside the anastasia pro palettes are kind of like and subculture i kind of like the palettes that almost everyone has in their collection but this was gifted to me by a really really dear friend and i used this palette to fill did swatches did looks on my instagram and it to me is still a beauty like if you're really into neutral colors and you're looking for a really really nice pigmented palette i would definitely recommend this one the only thing i feel is missing in this palette is like a black or a really really dark brown color you've got teddy bear but i think it's not dark enough depending on the color of your skin tone but overall i think it's such a good balance of warm and a bit of neutral cool tone type of shades and you've got obviously bottom roll for like autumnal colors so yeah it's definitely one i still recommend comes with a mirror great for traveling such a light palette and it's just a holy grail palette the next three palettes are from an indie brand in the UK. You guys would have heard of them. It's the September Rose Cosmetics brand. And the first palette is the Slush palette. And honestly, I love it when brands just have a sleeve as opposed to a unicarton or a full box. Um, the sleeve is just easy to keep and take off um, when you want to use it. Especially for me that I like to store my palettes in boxes and this is the palette it has been well loved and used i definitely need to break it out more 
especially during the summertime colors are just stunning you've got your range of pinks you've got orange green blue purple great for an array of colors um for looks and um themes and it's just it's just an all-round stunning palette i'm just gonna swatch a few sh random shades so you guys can actually see what i am talking about like that just has like a dual chrome type of shift to it so pretty it's just such a pretty palette and this one is the slush palette love the packaging as well just reminds me of going away on holiday which we cannot at the moment <laughs> but i can dream of the time when i traveled a lot um so yeah this is definitely a gorgeous 25 color palette definitely worth every single penny the next one that came out apologies if you can hear my son he's play fighting with his dad the next palette that came out is the slush 2 september rose palette now this one is an all matte palette again a holiday tropical vibes type of theme going on has a gorgeous little mirror and then you've got your colors now i must admit i haven't used this enough like literally I haven't touched that whole roll and i don't even think i have touched i haven't touched this as well like i definitely haven't used this a lot i definitely need to bring this out and um, but blue mojito you can see there's a massive dent in that i don't know what i was doing with that color but <laughs> it looks like it's been well used including mint berry i've made a dent in that one as well um but definitely need to bring this out more it's a full matte colorful palette so it would go really really well with a um shimmer palette i'm actually looking at it and thinking it would work really well with those ofra palettes when i do use them in a look or in a review or tutorial so i'll definitely be keeping them together so i can use them for a look and the last one they came out with is the brew palette and this is so stunning love the the packaging love the cute little girl with the coffee and it says the name of their brand september rose cosmetics which is such a beautiful touch and it's just your go-to neutral palette i really love this um shimmer color it's like a pressed like pigment type of shimmer color very very delicate and it's just so stunning when swatched it's such a beautiful pigmented palette you've got your gorgeous little black there to kind of deepen up and smoke out any of the colors you've got your white you've got your maroon color you've got your brown i know i did quite a few looks using this palette and i absolutely love it i love that majority of the colors are matte and then you've got these two pressed pigments to just give your eye that extra lift and you know definition and shimmer and just beauty so um if you are on the market for a neutral palette i do recommend this the colors are super pigmented um you know if you don't have a full matte palette definitely check this one out the colors are stunning and pigment is there plus it's easy to travel around with as well and the packaging is super cute and september rose as i said i'm not sure if i did september rose is a uk indie brand so definitely check them out if you're interested they do quite a lot of gorgeous little palettes the next two palettes are also from a uk um indie brand and this one is labelle makeup this is an all matte colorful palette as well and if i can just get it out of the uni carton yep nice cute black little packaging easy to travel around with no mirror but you've got your gorgeous neon colors i've done looks using this palette i've also used it in collaboration with other palettes because it's your all matte kind of like neon type of colors it reminds me of the electric palette by um urban decay but you've got like these two colors which are super stunning you've got the yellow you've got the green you've got the neon um orange neon coral and the orange color which is kind of like a borderline red color but yeah it's such a stunning um palette you can use in collaboration with other shimmer palettes to create gorgeous looks 
also from Labelle is the Magnifique palette and I love this palette absolutely love this palette I use this so many times on and off camera and it comes with a mirror super stunning palette again greens you've got this kind of like a uh, mustard color you've got the um rose gold color orange white just beautiful balance of shimmer and matte colors i really love this color called regal and rouge i use them quite a lot to kind of deepen colors i've also used crimson as an all over lid color and really blown it out and blended it so i've used it as a one shadow type of look but yeah i i love it it's just one of those slept on indie brands i really do think that indie brands are not as appreciated as they should be and they do release quite a number of beautiful products this is definitely one I need to bring out and use more often. But yeah, I do enjoy it when I do use it. This palette is the only palette I have from Eloise. Eloise is also a UK-owned indie brand. And this one is called the Queen Palette. I can never get them out of the... like. Oh. It's called the Queen Palette. And what I really love about the packaging is that you've got different skin tones of women. So signifying that we're all queens regardless of skin color, which I love. And slogan says, a queen lies in all of us, Eloise. I've used this palette a few times on Instagram. And I do like the color range, especially this kind of like a rose gold um, pink color. But I don't know, for me, it's just it's missing a shade i feel like it's missing a black or it's missing a dark matte blue or a dark uh, maroon color it's just missing something to give it some depth and definition um you've got this purple shade but it's not as deep as i would like when you start blending it into the crease um or outer corner so for me as i said i like to use palettes in solidarity i don't really like combining palettes together but for this one i feel like i really do have to combine palettes together other than that the palette itself is really really pretty and you know you've got really gorgeous gold jewel tones there sovereign is such a pretty color on the other thing as well don't really like the tiny little box i wish the the um the what do you call the compartments were a little bigger or round or something but it's just yeah it, it is a pretty palette but i just i just feel like there's a, a color missing to kind of give it that i'm just gonna leave these till the end of this draw because these are all my juvia's place palettes <laughs> so we're just gonna leave this to the end and i'm gonna go back to the front of this to kind of pull out some other palettes because i just done this roll and now i'm doing the back now this is also from e unique beauty and this is my again curated palette so this is more like a z palette and what i put in it is a lot of their glitter shades and few of their um one of their eyeshadows so this is like their pressed glitter palettes um sorry pressed glitter colors that i put in this palette and i love it i think they're really pigmented i have used them in looks i have swatched them this purple shimmer shade is such a pretty color and i love the fact that they do individual um pressed colors for you to pick from because not all the colors really interest me like these are the colors i would gravitate towards and would use in looks so really really easy and handy for me now these are all the palettes I have from Certify. Some of them I purchased, some of them were gifted to me, but let's just go through them in no particular order. You've got the um, Eternity palette. And one of the things I really love from Certify is the quote that she normally has on the packaging. And I'm really, really proud that Certify is now being sold in Beauty Bay, so it's easy for everyone to get, but you can also purchase it from their website but the palettes are super stunning i love the um style of them i love the shape it's very unique i haven't come across any other shape like this in my collection and the eternity palette looks like this and the saying says do good and good will come to you 
and i love the color story you've got your pinks you've got your browns you've got a bit of red I'm not gonna lie it isn't my go-to type of color story but the colors that i have dipped into i did enjoy um you can tell the colors that i avoid <laughs> and the colors that i dip into but it is a really really pigmented palette and it is worth the penny the next one is the dynasty palette and this one has been really used quite a lot and you've got a mixture of shimmer and matte shades um more mattes than shimmers but you've got your combination of blues and greens and purples and red and like your neutral color really love fortune which is a nice mustard color but yeah i've used this quite a lot and i absolutely love it their palettes are super super pigmented really love the names she comes up with and then as i said i love the packaging this one is the destiny palette and this is what it looks like again really love these two green colors i love the silver it's so pretty love the orange the red color called psychic is such a pretty color swatch it including firestorm those are two really really pretty red colors you guys can see they're just super super stunning super stunning on the hand even when swatched just just beautiful beautiful palette again you've got more mattes than shimmers but it's such a beautiful all-round palette the next one is the tropical wonders palette this one has been well loved and used as well look at that black like i have destroyed it <laughs> and you've got that beautiful purple shade called starling you've got your yellow shade orange pinks such a beautiful color story absolutely love it all these palettes i've done swatches and looks on my instagram so definitely check them out if you're interested in what they swatch like and this one's called the affinity palette and the saying on this one says as with any journey who you travel with can be more important than your destination and i absolutely agree with this i love the additional gold foiling to the side to kind of give it a bit more luxury to kind of give it a bit more of a luxurious feel i think it's stunning and this one to me i think is my favorite either this one or the affinity 2 is my favorite but i really love the purples and i love the tones i love the orange i love the reds it's just it's so pretty and there's just something about the gold rimming that just kind of gives it an air of elegance that i absolutely love and then the last one is the affinity 2 and this one says dream without fear love without limits and this one is the one that is just me in a palette like the color story is gorgeous and this one has the silver trimming around it and this color called shuhibab shuhab shuhaib i'm really sorry if i'm butchering it but they're beautiful names anyway and shafe and aftab i'm going to swatch them for you guys to see Look at that shift. Oh my god. Look at the shift of that one. And I'm not even putting any pressure. That is how stunning this palette is. Absolutely gorgeous. Like, as I said, you can pick them up from Beauty Bay, but absolutely stoked to have them in my collection. And the last palette from Certify is the Majestic palette. This is the first, shall I say, palette that I ever got from Certify. And I remember when I purchased this from her store and I, I just absolutely love the pigmentation of this palette. It's so pretty. Majestic is such a beautiful maroon color. But um, if you already have the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette, then you might not want to pick this one up because a lot of the colors are similar. But I, I absolutely love it. It's a, such a good travel size uh, palette so easy to go around with the colors are rich pigmented and very very easy to blend the next few palettes are from the sister company and unfortunately the brand is packing up so i doubt you'll be able to pick up any of these palettes but i will go through them because i do enjoy them and this one is the hasina palette and these palettes are from blush tribe and it's the sister company to certify, like literally their sisters is what I mean. 
<laughs> to certify so i love blush tribe because of the packaging it's always very graphic very beautiful you can tell what the color story is just by looking at the packaging and the colors are just as pigmented as a certified palette and her colors are bolder like full of color very very rich tones and this one is the hasina palette now this is the closest you will ever get to me wearing a pastel type of palette like literally this is the type of pastels that would work on my skin tone on asian skin tone like olive skin tone it's pastel but a little darker and not the, like the really faint pastel type of tones colors are beautiful you've got the green blue running across the middle you've got purple pinks the yellow and orange i've used this a lot especially um i'm not even going to try and pronounce that name because i don't want to ruin it but i've used this color a lot as an all over one color type of look and also as a lid color because it's such a beautiful like a coffee brown type of color but these two as well is so pretty like this purple such a beautiful beautiful shade yeah absolutely love this palette and i am gutted that the company is packing up but they've done such an amazing job as an indie brand and i'm really really happy that i was able to support the brand um some of these palettes i purchased myself some of them i was gifted but i am super excited for whatever new venture they are going to kick off with the next one is the Hasina 2 palette and just by looking at this packaging you know that you're going to have loads of blues and greens in it. I love that the Unicarden and the packaging always have the same um, colour story and look. And as I said, you've got your blues, you've got green, you've got purple, you've got that all essential black to kind of deepen the colors but i really 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 did enjoy using this palette it was well loved and it's just something i will always have in my collection i mean if i swatch jade you could just see the level of pigmentation just a light swatch and it's just so pretty but yeah if you can still grab any of these palettes i definitely will recommend the hasina 2 palette i think it's my favorite out of the entire um collection yeah it is my favorite out of all the colors it is my favorite out of all the palettes that i do have from blush tribe so definitely if you're able to still pick it up i would say get it even if it's going to be discontinued it doesn't matter it's still makeup it's eyeshadow so you can have it in your collection the next one is the um uh, monaza palette and this one is safi she's on the packaging i absolutely love her she's a beauty influencer um she does really really beautiful work um and they used her for the packaging and this was supposed to be their woman of color inspired type of colors and i am so obsessed with the fact that they asked me to name a shadow so i gave it my name and i picked the color so you will see my name in this palette so i'm always gonna have this palette forever and you've got Medea, which is there, which is blue. Most of you know I absolutely love my blue colours. I love my greens. So I was more than happy to pick a blue shade to go into this palette. But for me, this is an absolute gorgeous palette. The only thing, only thing I would say is one of these colours should have been a black. Um, and I know the brand was swaying away from black because we all have a black in the collection. But, you know, as I always say, I like to use a, pa a palette and it's in solidarity. I don't like combining it with other palettes, especially when I'm trying to create multiple looks with that palette. But, um, I mean, you could work around it. You could use this purple, this color, a bit of pink to kind of create such beautiful colors. You've got the blue as well. You've got Medea to create gorgeous colors. Uh, Kimberly is beautiful. Kimberly is also a swatcher she does loads of arm swatches on instagram which is just beautiful so the palette itself is gorgeous i doubt you can still get this but if you can definitely check it out it is a gorgeous little palette and the packaging is so cute the next one is the blossom palette and this is what it looks like super stunning 
um, packaging just gorgeous little flowers and you've got your full matte type of um, palette kind of reminds me of the color spurge palette only that you've got more shades in this and they're just a bit muted as opposed to the label color spurge palette but i love that white it's so so pigmented and for me it's such a sister palette to any shimmer shimmer palette that you have but you know it's the brand discontinuing all these palettes so i'm sorry you won't be able to get it and the last one i have from them is one i haven't even used and i bought this when i believe they were doing I'm not sure what sale but they were doing a sale and i picked it up and this one is the sonia zirin um collection by blush tribe they did a collaboration with her and i love this palette i haven't used it yet i haven't created a look i still will <laughs> in as much as it's being discontinued because the colors are just absolutely stunning jewel tone type of colors love the packaging love the red love the gold at the back love the greens below love oh, it's just so stunning as a color story and look at that rose gold called sonia so so pretty so the next few palettes are from e unique i know i've shown a few bits and pieces of the palettes i have from them the first one is the pressed powder palette and this is their egg hunt palette they came out with this last year during easter and i use this quite a lot i actually do have a review up on my youtube channel um so i will link it below and this is so pretty they're known for their pressed glitters oh my god so pretty and this dual chrome oh jeez and the blue oh my days what 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 are you saying yes they're known for really really pigmented they're known for really really pigmented shades love the cute little mirror and the other colors are just beautiful complementary shades i just it's just such a stunning palette definitely check out that video i go quite in depth and i swatched every single color in that video the next one is the seven deadly sins palette again i believe i have a look on my instagram using this palette but i love the idea of this it was just seven deadly scenes seven deadly sins it comes in a book type of format kind of reminds me of like the storybook um collection i believe this came out the year before um during halloween i want to say it's got a gorgeous little mirror i love the colors you've got vestible beautiful green shade one swipe guys you've got greed oh my days sloth wow you've got lust watch a bit of lust just one swipe and I think you can still pick this up from their website. Again, um, e Unique is an indie brand based in the UK. So definitely check them out. Their products are very ingenious, very unique. Pigmentation is off the chains. And I believe they are a slept on indie brand. Definitely check them the out. The next palette is a cute little palette. It also came with a cute little bag. They were selling a really gorgeous leather bag, like a bucket type of bag, um, in different colors, which you could you could purchase with the palette or separately. But this is the La Gelateria. <laughs> it's just ice cream. La Gelateria palette. Uh, is their pressed powder palette comes with a mirror on the opposite side and you've got these gorgeous little colors you've got that gorgeous little pink called strawberry you've got um pufo you've got mango and that gorgeous pistachio color so so pretty very ingenious type of packaging 
and it's just such a gorgeous little number in the collection as i said in the beginning if you want to purchase anything from e unique beauty definitely use my discount code media j to save yourself 10 percent doesn't matter if the product is on sale you can st still use the discount code to save an extra 10 percent and the two other palettes i have are the only two status quo palettes that i have in my collection the other ones have been hijacked by my family members so these are the only two i refused to let go of because i absolutely love how beautiful they are this one is called the royals palette and they started doing these like um five palette five pan type of palettes and i think it's really ingenious because it's easy to use um you're on the go you've got gorgeous little palette you can just put it in your makeup bag you've got that gorgeous little dark blue i love the color of this um isn't the easiest to work with but it's so pretty i have a swatch up on my swatch page on instagram which i will link down below you've also got this red um pressed glitter you've got this gorgeous little green and this blue color i will swatch the glitter so that you can see how pretty the glitter is i'll swatch the green so pretty we know that pigmentation is not a problem when it comes to e unique it's just pretty pigmentation. So. The second one I've got is called the Dark Souls palette. And I absolutely love this one. You guys know my jam is green. And this to me is the perfect travel palette. If you're looking for green or gr grungy type of look. You've got that black to kind of deepen this color in your outer corner you've got the added bonus of a pressed glitter so you don't have to travel with a glitter glue you've got this gorgeous shimmery color you've got this gold oh such a pretty palette i know i've done a video tutorial on my instagram using this so definitely check that out if you're interested in how it performs but these two to me are just the beautiful staple little palettes that I like to have in my collection. Love them, swatch them, use them and they are just stunning. The next palette is the only Bella Pierre eyeshadow palette that I have. And this one is their 12 color pro natural eye palette. I don't hear a lot of people talk about Bella Pierre but I believe that their eyeshadow quality is beautiful and they swatch beautifully blend beautifully and they look absolutely stunning on the eye and um, if you were to cover up these this shade especially you would see that this is a beautiful neutral palette but with the added color it just gives it a more of an autumnal vibe to it and the black just gives you that extra definition if these colors are not deep enough um to kind of like deepen your outer crease there is no mirror but it just makes the palette really light and easy to travel with i don't have a problem with this palette i think it's absolutely stunning um i do have a full tutorial up on my instagram using this and i just i love it it's super pigmented really easy to work with and it's such a pretty shade also love that the sleeve has all the colors and the names um and it teaches you how to apply the eyeshadows can you guys believe that I've shown you 58 eyeshadow palettes already? 58. All in just these two drawers. 58. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. So, the next two palettes are the other two ABH Novena palettes. I bet you guys are sick to death seeing these palettes, but I'm going to show you again. Um, this is the Novena Pro Palette, the ABH Novena Pro Palette 1. This is the one that came out first. For some reason, last year, um, ABH went palette crazy and were releasing 1001 palettes all at the same time, which made it really difficult for people to catch up. Um, I'm one of them. I am an ABH collector and it was really difficult and I'm so happy friends and family stepped in and helped me purchase two of the other palettes. So I was only, I only purchased this one myself. The other two were gifted to me, but this one is the one I haven't, not that I don't like it, but it's just, you need um, to work a little bit more to kind of get your looks together. I like grouping colors together, but you don't really get that. And I feel like there's quite a bit of repetition in the palette. 
I completely appreciate that this color is darker than this, but they're kind of like the same family, if you like. These two as well, including this one. You've got some shimmer shades that are there, which are pretty. The palette itself is really, really pretty and pigmented, but it's just... I just need to play with it um, to really fully appreciate it, but um, I haven't done much damage to this one. Um, I haven't done much damage to any of them, to be honest, but... This is one I definitely need to spend time playing with. The Pro Palette 2 is the one that I purchased myself and look fantastic. We're doing such an awesome deal on the eyeshadow palette and some liquid lipsticks. So I purchased them. Oh, don't want to be doing that, but we know it comes with a weighty mirror. So I'm not going to blind you guys, but I love the color story of this and the greens, the brown, the blue. Oh stunning I haven't touched it haven't swatched it haven't done anything with this palette yet but i am just so excited for those three yellow and green colors and this kind of like a dual chrome shift and this green here and oh such a beautiful beautiful palette and i will definitely be doing um a review tutorials and all that on my youtube channel very soon hopefully the next one is the me myself and mama Ma mitchell collaboration with beauty bay and this one is such a beautiful palette i don't think i have a tutorial up on my youtube channel but i definitely have one up on my instagram and i love the palette it's been loved i should definitely throw this thing away i don't know why i keep it but like the film but um yeah it's been well loved as you can clearly see it's been well used like it's so easy off actually i think it's not helping the palette is it so this is what it looks like all the colors have been used at least once um and swatched and played with like the color mega is so pretty you've got michelle that one stained my lid a little bit but i don't care it's such a pretty color you've got M -m -m mad you've got man-made which is stunning brown these four colors together stunning you've got marine which has like a dual chrome shift to it which actually i would use as a highlighter as well because it's such a pretty color when you blend it in actually that would make a beautiful alien type of highlighter and then mega which is stunning and i love that all these colors start with the letter m which was like his thing and when he talks about this palette it's just it's just so stunning to hear but yeah this is what it looks like and it has like this little mirror thing which is magnetic you pop it in the middle of the palette hopefully i'll get it right yep pop in the middle of the palette and it just sits nicely so you can have your palette on the go and just pop the mirror or take it out and use which is very handy The next one is a curated palette so um mary Kay sent me a few of their single shadows they also sent this compact over so i popped the single shadows in here i haven't used these colors yet but i have used mary Kay in the past actually one of my um really watched youtube videos had to do with um, using mary Kay skincare products and giving a review on it so i am familiar with mary Kay products i just haven't used the eyeshadows yet but they are really really pigmented eyeshadows that they produce really nice the only thing i don't like is the size of their little eyeshadows it's not easy to pop into like a circular pan um palette or a z palette they're just square and a bit um weird <laughs> if you like but the colors themselves are super pretty i have a few more morphe palettes so this one is the 35m bus mood palette and i do want to say this is probably one of my favorite morphe palettes to date and you guessed it you guessed it if you said it's got greens <laughs> that's it 
I do love my greens. So I love the kind of muted green. You've also got your neutral colors. Uh, you've got purple shades. You've got your darker neutrals. You've got blacks here. It's just such a beautiful, unique palette. You can see I have made a really good dent in this palette. I've used it quite a lot. It is one of my most used Morphe palettes and it's just it's stunning it's just absolutely stunning and the other palette i have is the 35g bronze goals palette and i was set to do a review of this palette i don't think i ever did and i was put off because a lot of people had a few problems with this palette and i just thought what's the point <laughs> and i didn't bother doing a review but i love this palette like this is my perfect neutral full neutral palette you've got balance of mattes and shimmer shades you've got your blacks you've got gold tones this is perfect for summer for spring all year round really you've got black in there to deepen any outer color color that isn't deep enough you've got your berry tones for your more autumnal looks so i don't know why people were hating on this palette but i picked this palette up and i also picked the bronzer that came with it and i absolutely love the bronzer and i feel like i'm gonna hit pan any day now <laughs> with that bronzer because i use it in virtually all my looks but i should use this more often but i don't know people just put me off the palette itself but it's it to me it's a pretty it's a pretty little palette the morphe palette i have is definitely the morphe x james charles palette um this palette i feel like i should use it more but i think the size um it's not that the size is a problem it's just it takes up a lot of my vanity and i i recycle my shadows a lot like i move my shadows around i try not to use the same eyeshadow for a whole week i try and mix it up a little bit but i travel a lot and i can't travel with this guy and it does take up a lot of my vanity space so when i've laid out my makeup this one just doesn't sit properly because it's so big but the palette itself is so pretty and i recently brought it out and did a few looks i even cleaned it up as well I did a few looks using this palette um concentrated along this area I did a gorgeous little green festival look with some glitter which i will link in the description box below but i do love this palette i think it's such a gorgeous versatile palette you've got the gorgeous little bright purples and pinks to do um your beautiful um summer carnival type of looks with the greens and the blues and then you've got neutral colors in the middle and the topper and the top part of the palette and you've got that gorgeous little white as well so it to me it's an all-round gorgeous palette i wish the names were printed on the package and um, i know the mini version i think has the names on it don't quote me <laughs> i recently bought the mini version for my niece and she absolutely loves it but i just feel like this palette is just it's a bit big <laughs> and a bit difficult to um to remember gosh i actually forgot about this one this is the morphe jacqueline hill palette who remembers this palette like literally i've watched thousands of eyeshadow oh god it doesn't even want to open i've watched thousands of eyeshadow collections and i haven't seen anyone bring this one out <laughs> this one is it still good i don't know it's so old this is the i feel like this is the first Jaclyn Hill collaboration with Morphe. You've got neutrals, a pop of green. I'm just going to do a few swatches just to see if it still performs. But this was at the bottom of my drawer. Let's see. Okay. It's, just, it's still performing. It's still performing, guys. I think it's still alive. But it's it's so old. It is really old. But I'm going to keep it. It's a palette you can't get anymore. It comes in the really old Morphe palette. The next palette is from an indie brand as well. Based in the UK. And this is V Lace. And they have this gorgeous palette with these colours. Actually reminds me of the Jaclyn Hill palette to some extent. That kind of like looks similar. You know that green and that green look almost identical and then you've got these colors that kind of look like that you've got the neutral pinks that kind of yeah it's kind of similar isn't it 
you they could pass off as the same brand that created it but anyway this one is an indie brand v lace i've done um look up on my youtube channel and also on instagram i've done loads of swatches of this palette absolutely love the palette it is pigmented it is very beautiful really easy to work with the shades are super blendable um i know someone's gonna say you've got the same colors throughout your collection but i like what i like <laughs> and i'm not gonna be apologetic for it and for me and um, this was gifted but i love it i'm not gonna toss it or give it out i use this palette i love it i use it um on and off camera and it's just something i just want to support indie brands so i'm keeping this one <laughs> in my collection Right, we're on to the last set of palettes in this drawer and these are my Juvia's Place palettes. Now, a bit of disclaimer, I am a Juvia's Place hoarder. Every single palette here I'm going to show you guys I bought myself. I absolutely love the brand. Pigmentation is on point. Packaging is always on point. So, and I have given away two of my Juvia's Place palettes that I'm actually thinking of repurchasing <laughs> because I'm such a collector. But um, let's go through the ones that I actually do have right now. This one is the Magic by Juvia's Place. Love the packaging. I don't have the Unicard for it as anymore. There was a time when I was chucking everything out. But now I like to keep them all in their boxes. But love the pan size. Very, very generous pan size. Colors are very pigmented. Always love the color story. That silver called Yemoja is so pretty. You've got the rose, um, the rose gold color called Oshun. You've got this gorgeous little blue color. You've got this purple shade. I've used this a few times on my Instagram. I've also done swatches. I love this palette. Next one is literally a new palette. I literally just got this in the mail like a week ago. And this is the Nomad palette. I haven't used it. I actually haven't even opened it. But I've seen quite a lot of tutorials on Instagram. So I know it's a palette I am going to enjoy. And this is what it looks like. You've got gorgeous autumnal green um blue sorry green i love saying blue don't i green yellow i love these shimmer colors are so pretty and then this little like mustard green color greenish brown color so so pretty haven't used this at all i'm actually noticing that the yellow has like specks of glitter in it which makes it so so pretty but yeah, I haven't used this palette yet, so I'm super excited to use this one. Next one is a palette that I have used, and I do have a look up using this palette. And this one is the Chocolate palette. It's one of the mini palettes that it came out with. I know they came out with this one, a purple one, a red one, and I actually just only love the brown one just because it's such a versatile palette so easy to create those brown smoky eyes with a pop of shimmer you can also use this i actually use this as a lid color in the tutorial and i use this to blend out my crease I actually shaded it in a liner as well using these two colors so i will link that video in the description box but you can do so much more with this palette so definitely definitely love this i'm really sorry i'm going fast with the juvia's place palettes let me know if you want me to do a dedicated video going through all the juvia's place palettes that i have swatching them and really really talking about them i can definitely do that for you guys the next one i do have a tutorial up and a review actually of the fumi collaboration with juvia's place i really love how petite this palette is how gorgeous it is i love the color story i love the story behind um the collaboration with fumi fumi is a beauty influencer here on youtube and also on instagram she is amazing and this palette just uh, speaks volumes i use this color called seven as a blush you can also use this one as a blush i use this as a highlighter so so pretty palette the next one is the Saharan palette. I've used this one a lot as well. And 
color story is very pretty you've got neutral colors and you've got green like if you were to cover up these two colors you would have such a versatile type of neutral color with that pop of like golden greenish golden color oh, so stunning you've got this rose gold more like pinkish tone um color you've got this black to kind of deepen up any outer corner you've got this green oh i'm a sucker for green i kind of like feel like i have to swatch every single green in a palette oh we know juvia's place does pigment like no other so love it the next one is the, is the nubian 3 coral palette now i'm not gonna lie this palette kind of threw me a little bit when i first saw it i am a sucker for cool tone colors i'm a sucker for grays for silver and i was just like shocked that they combined it with this like coral story and but when you look at it there's so much you can do with this palette like if i cover that roll you've got that brown you've got the shimmer brown you've got a coral look you've got a smoky brown look you've got a coral smoky look you've got the silver you've got the gray look you've got coral and silver look you've got a smoky coral look like there's so much you can do with it and um it just takes a lot of imagination but the color story is so unique so fun love the packaging as well it kind of just mimics the colors quite nicely it's really beautifully put together and it's just one of those really really interesting palettes that you don't get often next one is the masquerade mini by juvia's place i did have the larger version of this palette but i gave it away and i got the mini instead um this one has been really well used as well love the blues the pinks neutral colors at the bottom you guys kind of see a theme of the types of colors that i gravitate towards but this one is such an easy travel palette for me when I'm on the go and I really need um, a pop of color on my lower lash line. I go with a more neutral look and I pop one of these colors on my lower lash line to just kind of give it a bit of definition, something different, you know. Um, but it's such a really, really good palette. The next one is the Zulu palette and this is what this one looks like. I have swatched this on my Instagram if you're interested but I love the pan size of this. This one is a nine pan size. You've got um, the purple is quite pigmented. I've done a look just using these two colors which is really really beautiful. Looking at the model there's um I mean, looking at the image, the <laughs> model, looking at the image, you could tell that the greens were really well used, a bit of the yellow to kind of blend everything together. But the rose gold color in the corner here is, oh, this combined with that, so pretty. So, so pretty. You will probably, depending on the look you're going for, you might need a sister palette to go with this one. But um, you can still create loads of looks just using the palette on its own. The next one is the Festival palette. Now, I haven't done a dedicated look just using this palette. I have used it in collaboration with other palettes, um, like the palette using the Chocolate Mini. Um, I used this one. I used this orange color to kind of blend um, the edges together, but it looks like a really, really pretty palette. I haven't used it much, so I can't really give you guys my opinion of it. But it looks amazing and I can't wait to do more looks with it. Oof. Next one is the Afrique palette. And I believe I have used this one actually. Yes, it is the one with the green. I've used it in a few looks. Again, pigmentation is there. Color story is there. Love the yellow. It comes off really, really pigmented. It's super pretty. Love the shimmery green. Um, love the green color here. It's just like your standard green shade. But yeah, again, very pretty palette. Next one is the jo Doce. Doce palette. <laughs> Doce palette. Now, I'm not gonna lie. When I saw this palette, I thought to myself, "Girl, what are you doing? <laughs> this is not made for you." But I just had to have it as the collector. 
so this one has more pinks than anything so these two colors are not my jam i would use it in a look just to see what it looks like but they're not colors that automatically gravitate towards these colors are more like my thing um but i haven't even used this palette so i can't really give you guys my opinion of it it's pretty and that's about all i can say the next one is the saharan 2 by juvia's place and i'm guessing that i have used this but yes i have so this was a really really pretty was this is a really really pretty palette really love the dark maroon color so pretty love the blue shade obviously love this it's like a minty blue color it's so different so unique gives off a nice little shift but yeah so pretty as i said if you guys want me to do a more in-depth um chat through all the juvia's place palettes definitely let me know in the comment box below next one is the warrior 2 palette and it's either this one or the warrior palette that i've actually used i want to say it's the warrior palette that i've used yet i haven't used this one so this is a all matte um palette you've got gorgeous little um neutral shades in my opinion you've got that little dark black oh, it looks more like navy blue and then you've got gray and oh i really love the image i might actually do a look mimicking that image because it's so unique um but i love the palette it's so pretty i haven't used it so i can't really give you guys my thoughts on it I can't. and this one i definitely have used a few times already and this is the warrior palette this one is a neutral palette and it's so pretty you've got shimmer shades you've got more shimmers than mattes you've got one two three four five six shimmers and three matte shades this this and this are matte but more than enough to create a beautiful neutral look love the packaging love the illustration on it so pretty so inspiring as well and the last juvia's place palette that i have is the tribe palette and i have used this one as well it has a beautiful green green shade in it that i love this color is so pretty including this one this one has more green tones and oh it just reminds me of the color drain safari palette i still signed up to receive notification when that comes back in stock because i haven't picked that one up yet but this to me is so pretty i've done a few looks using this palette and i just absolutely love it Right, so those are all the palettes in here and in here. Uh, I'm going to make a count to see how many palettes we've done so far. But guys, like we're not even halfway through. I've still got this lower drawer filled with palettes. And I've still got my Alex draw behind me filled with palettes as well. So I feel like I'm going to have to end the video here and probably do a part two of the collection somehow um but i'm gonna count how many palettes we have and see where we're at so so far we're at 82 palettes um i'm gonna call this part one i feel like this video is going to have three parts at this rate but i don't want it to be stupid long for everyone um so i'm gonna call this part one and um yeah <laughs> if you want to see part two i'll link it down below um but yeah, <laughs> 82. Oh my God. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please check part two of this video and I will see you in a bit.